guys and welcome to the family fudge today I'm sharing a highly requested recipe I'm gonna show you how I make my homemade buttermilk ranch dressing not only is this dressing so easy to throw together but it's so good you may never want to buy the store bottled stuff again so stay tuned and I will show you how to make it here's what you're going to need I'm starting with half a cup of mayonnaise half a cup of sour cream, a quarter cup of buttermilk, half a teaspoon of dried dill, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of dried parsley, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. And finally, a quarter teaspoon of salt and an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. This recipe is really easy and it's very good, but I do have a secret ingredient that I like to add sometimes, so I'll go ahead and show you that at the very end. In a medium-sized bowl, I'm going to add the mayo, the sour cream, and the buttermilk. Now, even if you don't think you like buttermilk, I would still recommend you give this a try because it's very good in this dressing. Next, I'm going to add the dried dill, the parsley flakes, the onion powder, and the garlic powder. Also, the salt, the pepper, and the Worcestershire sauce. And now, just whisk to combine. It's really just that easy. And now, to give it a taste. Yum, it is really good. And now, for that secret ingredient. Sometimes, I like to grate a little bit of fresh garlic into my ranch. It really gives it a nice, garlicky, savory, bright flavor. But, just a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. So I'm just going to whisk that in there, give it another taste, and now it's even better. I like to store my ranch in a mason jar with a lid. This lid has an easy pour spout, so it's really convenient. This will stay good in the fridge for a long time, but for my family, it only lasts about a week. And now I'm just going to pop my lid on and stick it in the fridge. Now right before I want to use it, I do like to give it a good shake. And if it gets too thick in the fridge, you can always add a little bit more milk to thin it out. Okay guys, there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're not already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.